What's up kitten cats? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do a little like what I do on my day off day, cause today is Saturday and it's not an entire day off, it's just a day off from client check-ins. Um, so I tend to do client check-ins throughout the week and then I use Saturday as a day to work on other things. Obviously I'll work on other stuff throughout the week as well, um, but Saturday's my big day to like work on other things, but also just a little bit of a day to relax and then Sunday is like a full no work, no training, no nothing day. So, figured we'll get into some fun stuff together today. I did record this day's workout two weeks ago, because I follow a structured training program, so everything is the same for X amount of weeks um, on each given day. So I'm gonna go ahead and record, not record, gonna go ahead and insert that in just a moment. And yeah, let's go work out. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Now we are home from the workout and it is time to eat food. So I'm gonna make food and uh, show you that. Body, like very recently, mm -hmm. that was what made me also, feel better. That was what made me feel like, okay, now- I don't deserve this. Like you don't Post -workout. To see my body. Smoothie bowl. That's like, I send this yeah, recipe to my email list, like but then I just top it with- Well, I think what happens is a lot of women- Cereal. Through it so and lots of carbs think, and protein. Okay, well. Are you having a good day? Look at that little tail! You did a good girl! You did a good bear! Did you have a nice, you know what, earlier? Yeah. All right, everyone. So, showered, cleaned up, made up, decided I wanted to be the extra bitch that I am today and wear bright cobalt eyeliner. So first thing, I discovered that I have a $50 Sephora gift card that I did not know that I have. So going to go get into some, what will probably be more than $50 worth of trouble there. Also I'm gonna go to Forage, which if you don't know what Forage is, <sighs> Forage is a local plant store here in Louisville. I love my plants, I love my Forage people. Actually like every plant in my house is from Forage. So I think there's, I have 10, 10 or 11 maybe. But what I need to see them for, I mean one, I want a new plant, but two, <clears throat> very excited. I need their assistance because, oh, there we go. Because I have successfully propagated 
a few monstera leaves like look at that one that one is so good so i just want to get some feedback from them on like exactly what kind of pot i should put it in i might get one of theirs and get some soil and that's another one this one i need to put more water in this one um, but that one's just starting to form a little baby one and then this snake plant one she's starting to do things too so i'm gonna go figure out and run by them exactly how i should plant these little propagated babies I'm gonna run by whole foods because i really want the salad bar at whole foods it's just one of the things that i really like in life and uh yeah lots of crazy stuff going on oh i might try and run by the apple store too because my computer um is very broken the fan has seen better days i might try and walk in like i'll do a little walk by just because it's really close to sephora if it looks super busy i'm not gonna go in um and i'll just make an appointment for tomorrow but i need to get that fixed because guess what my entire career is dependent on the presence of a computer in my home so that's the day let's go Or something. Let me see. Is he just a mothball? Oh, what are you doing with it? Nothing? He just hangs out, just like any other plant. Let's chill Aww. underwater. So, just um, about once a week, you want to change out his water. Okay. Just plain tap water? Mm hmm. I'm yeah. Not so, a lot of she people doesn't... have to use um, like spring water and stuff, but mm -hmm. since we have such great water in the wool balls, so yeah, it's here. We do. We have the best water. We, we really I literally do. taste it when I go somewhere else. I know. It is horrible. Mm -hmm. when you, we went to Indianapolis last week. What is the mother right. So, got my salad. Filmed a little clip of it. Very discreetly because you're apparently not allowed to film in Whole Foods. Whatever, I whipped the camera out real quick and was like, doo, doo, doo. got it. I was super bummed. There's this thing at my Whole Foods that I did not know was not a staple at all Whole Foods. So when I went to Denver, I was super bummed when I went to like a bajillion different Whole Foods there, none of them had it. It's their smoky cauliflower. Oh, it's so good, they didn't have it today. There are bigger problems in the world, but my heart is hurting a little bit. So anyway, it was still a great salad experience, but I'm gonna go home, unpack my plant babies, and then just chill until it's sushi time. I'm gonna get sushi with LT. She is dog sitting for Chanel and Jared right now. So we're gonna go over there. All the dogs and us are gonna hang, eat sushi, watch movies. The perfect chill weekend that I needed so bad. Like truthfully, oh, I've been so all over the place. I haven't been home, like in my bed for more than like a week, week and a half since April, maybe even March if I like trace it back and I need it. So chill weekend commence has already commenced but whatever the fuck we're gonna go home now okay okay friends i just wanted to show you first of all close up of my little moss guys these need better light hold on i'm gonna go over here look there's just little floating moss balls i don't know it's cute okay judge me don't judge me it's your life you choose what you do with it then luna hey google pause the music please so this is the other one that I bought. It's just a nice draping, vining, beautiful. So, actually I'll just grab this now. I have two cuttings that are definitely ready to go into soil. Luna is very excited about this. So, I'm gonna show you guys while I do that. I showed you guys the cuttings earlier. Couple basic plant things because you guys are very, into my plant stuff now, which I love. Um, but I went to forage. She told me that I should start with a six inch pot. So this is a six inch pot. It will definitely outgrow this because monsters are very, 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 very big plants, but they also like being root bound. So this is a good little starter pot for it. It's also not a big plant yet. So it'll outgrow, but this is a good starter pot. And then once it outgrows this, I'll just put different plants in here. Um, one thing that's really important with your plants is make sure that your pot has a drainage hole, just because with house plants, 
You wanna control the moisture as best as you possibly can. Um, and drainage holes help to regulate moisture. So what I do, uh, just because I don't want when I go to water them or like when I put soil in them, I'm gonna get down here. But what I don't want is I don't want the soil falling all over whatever um, it is on. So you could put like a little tray underneath these, but something that I do is you can literally just cover the hole with a little pebble. Like I just use one of these guys. Um, and that way when you water it, it'll still drain out the water. So like I'll bring it over to the sink or like the shower or wherever I'm watering it. Um, and water will still be able to drain through that hole, but your soil won't escape. So I'm gonna do a couple little rocks in there. Kind of plug up the hole, but not to the point where it's not doing its job. I'm never gonna say that again. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tag off of that because that's tacky to have the tag still on it. Okay, so this is just an indoor potting mix. It's specially formulated for house plants. Something that's really important that's in here is peat moss, which just helps to regulate moisture. So especially with a fresh cutting, uh, you want moisture regulation on fleek. So, this is about to be messy. I probably should be doing this outside, but it is hotter than the devil's armpit outside. So uh, we're not doing that. Oh, this smells so lovely. We're just gonna get the party started. I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing this correctly. I'm not. This is my first time doing anything with cuttings, but I've got that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this one too. Okay. So, not bad, not a bad mess. We're not all the way done yet, but you know what? I'll clean my counters. I like cleaning countertops. Okay, so these are about three quarters of the way full with soil. We've got our cuttings. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this guy. God, look at how many beautiful ones there are in there. We're just gonna plop her down in the soil. And we are gonna Pop this guy off. Look at how pretty she is. Getting her nice and cozy. Also, monsteras grow aerial roots. So actually, they're they're climbing plants. So what I did, it probably won't be here for a couple weeks because I ordered off Etsy. Yeah, hopefully like a week. But I bought a moss totem to put in my big monstera. I'm hoping I'm hoping that'll help with some of her drooping because she has some leaves that are really perky and then other ones that are really like droopy. And I'm wondering if that's just because they're heavy. So I'm wondering if the plant has something that it can like climb, if it'll do a little better. But, and this will allow little old monstera to climb freely. Yeah. We have propagated plants. Are you ready to do a mini Sephora haul, Luna? Okay, everyone. So first I was like, oh, I'm going to do a little Sephora haul. And then I was like, oh, I get, I got stuff that I use literally all the time. And then I was like, you know what? I'll do some of my staples. So I just re-upped on a few staples and I got like two, three new products. Two, really. Anyway, got a new beauty blender because mine mysteriously disappeared. And then, oh, oh, do you want to join? Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> Look at that table. Uh, and then this, I have my full size of this, but I needed a travel, I need, I can't speak. I needed a new travel size one because I used up, I know, all of my other travel size one the last time I was in Denver. Uh, this is one of the new things that I got. I'm just a really big fan of hyaluronic acid, and I saw this sitting there with the skincare and it was like seven dollars so i was like we're gonna try it out but if not i have my skin medica ha5 which is my favorite hyaluronic acid serum then i just got my brow is pencil that's a staple got a summer color for my favorite concealer so normally i'm custard and then this is ginger Love that, love this concealer. And then I got a little one of the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I have a full size one 
and I got a mini one because I'm trying to decide if I want to re-up on a full one of this again just because the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir is my absolute all-time favorite mascara but I also remembered loving the Caution mascara and everybody was like oh my god buy this so I was like you know what my other one is pretty dried up so we're gonna see and then this is a new product. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer or eyeshadow primer. I haven't used an eyeshadow primer in years since like the Urban Decay primer potion days. I've just used concealer for the longest time. So I'm giving this a go to see how I like it. And then this is a kind of new kind of not thing for me. This is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. I have the other Beauty Light Wand and then I have the like Beauty Light Contour Wand thing. This is just a different color. This is a very goldy gold. This is Charlotte Tilbury. Um, hold on, let me... We're gonna take this bad boy out. Right, Luna? Right there. Okay, I have no idea what the light situation is in this particular spot, but we're gonna find out. Super gold. Oh. We're gonna do that number first. I hope you guys can see this. Yeah. That's before you blend it in. And it, oh. And it's like, hello, am I? Is it sunny? Uh, am I sweating? Am I just a supermodel? I don't know. So yeah, that's really just the look that I'm going for at all times, to be honest. Uh, so that is our little mini Sephora haul. I'm about to order our sushi. It's about to be a great night. In case you're late to the party, this is the sound my computer makes. There he There's LT! You probably haven't been on the Dog channel sitting. since you got your hair dark. Really? Probably. Well, or no, we did the photo shoot. Never mind. Your hair was dark for the photo shoot. Louie! Where's Lulu? Louie Luna! Oh! Oh, dogs! Doggy! Hi! Hi! Alright, so we got sushi. I love sushi with fruit on it. So mango is a yes. Other one with just fish on it. Seaweed salad. So we're gonna eat sushi and chill in Chanel's house. <laughs> she's not here it's my house now yeah it's, L it's lt's house now uh so yeah that is it for today hope you guys enjoyed this little random discombobulated video and i'll see you in the next one bye